Hi, I'm Dr. Kate from the Pet Health Club and today I'm going to be talking to you about rat bait poisoning, otherwise known as rodenticide toxicity. Today we're going to be taking a look at how this affects your pet, some of the symptoms you need to look out for and some of the treatments that are available if your pet does suffer from rat bait toxicity. Rodenticide toxicity or rat bait poisoning occurs most commonly when our pets ingest rat bait product or less commonly when they ingest a poisoned rodent. The most common toxins involved in rat bait poisoning are warfarin and brodifacoon. Both of these toxins stop the body from being able to clot blood normally, which is essential for everyday life. It is for this reason that rodenticide toxicity can be a life-threatening condition. Now I'll take you through some of the symptoms of rodenticide toxicity. It's important to note it can take two to seven days for some of these symptoms to show up as the levels of clotting factors get low enough for uncontrollable bleeding to start. Some of the earliest signs to look out for are obvious external bleeding from the nose, gums or eyes, bloody or dark tarry faeces, lethargy and collapse and increased thirst. If you've noticed any of these symptoms, it's important that you speak to your vet immediately. Diagnosis can be made on the history of your animal eating rat bait or having been suspected of having access to rat bait. Remember, if this is the case, always to take the box or packaging along with you, as this will allow the vet to identify the specific toxin that may be involved in the rat bait toxicity. If you have not actually seen your animal eat the bait, then diagnosis is made on some of the symptoms that we've talked about, clinical examination by the vet, and on further blood tests. These blood tests might include general blood tests, checks of the clotting time, a blood smear, and often other tests of the clotting ability of the animal. The type of treatment your pet receives will depend on how much time has passed since they ate the bait. If it's only been a few hours, the first thing your vet will do will be to induce vomiting. This helps remove as much bait as possible from your dog's stomach. Giving activated charcoal will help to mop up any of the bait that has already passed through your pet's stomach. It's then recommended 24 to 48 hours down the track that your pet has a blood clotting test. If this test comes back normal, no further treatment is required. If your pet is already showing signs of internal or external bleeding, then they have a life-threatening condition and they will require hospitalisation for support and further life-saving treatment. This may include further testing to assess the amount of blood loss and clotting factor deficiencies, blood or plasma transfusions to help replace lost clotting factors in blood. Vitamin K therapy. Vitamin K is important to help your dog create more clotting factors. You'll often need to give more of this at home for up to six weeks after discharge. It is important that tests are then run to make sure that your dog's blood can clot normally again. From the team at the Pet Health Club, we hope this information has been useful in giving you further insight into rodenticide toxicity. For further information, please have a talk to your vet.